Join me as I try to identify different woodpecker species and see if I can crack the code on how they use their beaks to drill into wood. Woodpeckers are truly fascinating creatures, with unique adaptations that allow them to thrive in their environment. From their brightly colored feathers to their chisel-like beaks, every aspect of these birds seems to be designed for one specific purpose, to extract insects and sap from trees. So, have you ever wondered how woodpeckers can peck away at trees with such vigor, yet somehow avoid giving themselves a headache? It's a question that has puzzled scientists and bird enthusiasts alike for years. I mean, can you imagine if humans could do that? We'd be able to hammer nails into walls all day without breaking a sweat. But, of course, our skulls aren't exactly designed for that kind of abuse. One of the main reasons woodpeckers can peck so vigorously is because their skulls are specially designed to absorb shock. Unlike humans, who have a relatively thin layer of bone in the skull, woodpeckers have a thick, spongy bone that helps to distribute the force of each peck. This means that the impact of each strike is spread out across the entire skull, rather than being concentrated on a single point. But that's not all, woodpeckers also have extremely powerful neck and shoulder muscles that help to generate the force needed to drive their beaks into wood. And let's not forget about their brains, which are specially protected by a kind of cushion of cerebrospinal fluid that helps to absorb any shocks or jolts. It's a truly remarkable system, and one that has evolved over millions of years to enable woodpeckers to thrive in their environment. So, what about their beaks? How do they manage to withstand the constant pounding and drilling without wearing down or breaking off? The answer lies in the anatomy of the beak itself. Made of a hard, yet flexible, material called keratin, the beak is perfectly adapted for drilling into wood. The upper and lower mandibles are shaped like chisels, with a sharp, pointed tip that helps to pry into the wood, and a flat, broad base that provides stability and leverage. But that's still not all, woodpeckers also have a range of other adaptations that help them to peck and drill with precision and accuracy. For example, their tongues are long and sticky, allowing them to extract insects and sap from deep within the tree. And their skulls are specially designed to allow for a wide range of motion, enabling them to twist and turn their beaks to reach into tight spaces. When we look at a woodpecker's skull and beak, we're seeing the result of millions of years of evolution, adapted to a very specific lifestyle and environment. And it's not just the skull and beak that are specialized, every aspect of the woodpecker's anatomy is carefully designed to enable them to thrive in their role as tree-piercing predators. In summary, woodpeckers are truly remarkable birds, with a range of incredible adaptations that enable them to peck and drill into wood with ease. From their shock-absorbing skulls to their chisel-like beaks, every aspect of their anatomy is perfectly designed for their unique lifestyle. Thanks for joining me on this journey into the fascinating world of woodpeckers. If you've got a favorite woodpecker species, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about bird adaptations, be sure to check out our next video.